The nine patch quilt block is a traditional block that's popular because it's so versatile. Today, I'm gonna to share with you some simple tricks that will help you make the nine patch block in any size you want. Welcome to Eva Studio. My name is Elizabeth and I help you make beautiful things with quilting, pujagi, and embroidery. So the nine patch quilt block is a basic block that has three squares across and three squares down. If you're making a 12 inch block, it's easy to know that each square has to be four inches. But what if you want to make a block that is not 12 inches? The easiest way to determine what size your small squares need to be is to take the finished size of the block and divide that by three. So if you're gonna make a block that's six inches or nine inches or even 15 inches, that's pretty easy math to just divide that by three and just remember that whatever size you get, you'll need to add half an inch when you're cutting to accommodate the seam allowances. So if you wanna make a 15 inch block, 15 divided by three is five, and you'll cut your pieces five and a half inches. The same if you want a six inch block, it'll be two cut at two and a half inches. So that's pretty easy. But what if you want a different size, like for example, an eight inch block? Eight does not very evenly divide by three. And even if you can do the math on paper, that math does not correspond very easily to a quilting ruler. Quilting rulers don't accommodate measurements that are less than an eighth of an inch. So for this problem, my easy solution is to make your squares in your block different sizes. So for example, when I'm thinking of eight inches, I know that eight is five plus three. So that also means eight is two and a half plus two and a half plus three. So if I make the center square three inches and the corner squares each two and a half inches, that combined will give me an eight inch block. Now that does mean that the background pieces at north, south, east, and west, those are going to be rectangles, but they're gonna be two and a half inch by three inch rectangles. So as long as I remember to add a half inch for my seam allowance, then I can make this block no problem. Another option is to make the center square smaller than the other pieces. So I could think that eight inches is six plus two. So that also equals three plus three plus two. So I can make my center square two inches and my corner squares three inches. This will also give me an eight inch block. And in this case, my background rectangles would be three inches by two inches. And I'll just need to remember my seam allowance, so I will cut them three and a half by two and a half. So we can see sometimes changing the question will make the math a lot easier. Don't you wish you could have done that back in elementary school? This is the technique I used in the double nine patch block to make the mini nine patch blocks finish at four inches. If you wanna see the tutorial for that block, you can click on the link to see it. If you're really feeling creative, you can always have your block offset. It doesn't have to be balanced with the corner pieces the same size, and you can have a lot of fun with these designs. Of course, just remember that this will turn a lot of your other pieces into rectangles. If you know what you wanna do and you're having a hard time figuring out the math, then I recommend going old school. Just take a piece of graph paper, sketch it on graph paper, and then it's easy to count up exactly how big your pieces are gonna be. Just don't forget half inch for seam allowances. Once you get started, you'll be able to use this trick to make your nine patch blocks any size you want them. And of course, it also works with all the nine patch variations like churn dash and shoe fly. So have fun designing your own nine patch blocks to use in your own quilting projects. For more quilting patterns, tips, and tutorials, be sure to check out ebitastudio.com.